Number two, letter A. What is the mass of a large ship that has a momentum of 1.6 times 10 to the 9 kilogram meter per second when the ship is moving at a speed of 48 kilometers per hour? Right, so first, let's take a look at letter A. They're asking us for the mass. They tell us the momentum and they give us a speed. So I'm thinking of what formula do I know relates momentum, mass and speed. And here it is on the right hand side, ladies and gentlemen. It is that momentum is equal to mass times velocity. Now I want to find mass, right? That's what it's asking. What is the mass? Okay, so therefore what I'm going to do is simply just solve this equation for m, which means I'm going to divide v out of both sides. So it tells me that the mass is equal to then the momentum divided by its velocity. Now importantly, the mass has to be in terms of uh, kilogram meter per second, and the velocity has to be in terms of meter per second. So they give me the uh, momentum up here with the right units. So that's great. I do know this value that checks out. And I notice though that the speed that they give me, which is basically the velocity is in kilometers per hour. And remember I need it in meters per second. So guess what we have to do? We have to do a simple conversion, right? And what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to do the conversion in this fraction as it is right now. Okay. So we've been doing conversions now for eight chapters, so I'm going to start to pick up the pace a little bit on them. Okay, but if you need a little more help, please see, I think chapter one and whatnot, I've uh, done a bunch of conversions uh, in that chapter. Okay, I'm still going to work it all out, but I'm going to do it within this fraction. So the momentum is 1.6 times 10 to the 9, all right, divided by now the velocity. Now remember, they give us the velocity as 48.0 uh, kilometers per hour, right, and what I need to do let me just actually extend this line a little bit, okay? What I need to do here is I need to convert that into meters per second. So therefore, let me get rid of the kilometers first, right? So kilometers would be on the bottom, meter on the top, a thousand meters, one kilometer, bye-bye kilometers. Now I gotta get from hours to seconds. And remember the quick uh, relationship here that for every one hour, there are 3,600 seconds. So there goes the hours. And hence you're left with meters per second. So now all we would have to do is plug that all in, 48 times 1,000 divided by 3,600, and that will give us the velocity in meters per second. I'm just gonna plug it all into the calculator all at once, okay? So 1.6 times 10 to the nine, divided by now parentheses, 48 times 1,000 divided by 3,600, close those parentheses, and we get a value uh, for the mass here of, of the large ship, it's gonna be 1.20, times 10, just give me a second, I gotta count all these decimals. So we got three, six, seven, eight. Looks like times 10 to the eight, and that is in terms of kilograms. So that takes care of letter A. All right, so now let's take a look at letter B. So it says compare the ship's momentum, uh, and that's the ship's momentum, to the momentum of a, of, uh, yeah, of an 1100 kilogram artillery shell fired at a speed of 1200 meters per second. So. Sorry about that, there's a helicopter flying overhead. I thought it was gonna land on my house. So uh, what we have to do is let's, why don't we first calculate the um, momentum of this artillery shell, All right? And again, momentum is equal to the mass multiplied by the velocity. So the momentum of that artillery shell will be the mass of that artillery shell, 1100 kilograms multiplied by its speed in meters per second, 1200. Simply throw it on into the calculator. So it's 1100 multiplied by 1200, and we get a value of 1.32 times 10 raised to the 3, 4, 6, times 10 raised to the 6. Okay, and again, momentum here, this is going to be in terms of kilogram meter per second. And I forgot the G. There's the G. So that would be the momentum, not the answer yet, because they're asking us to compare it. So now what I want to do is, why don't we take the uh, momentum of the ship, which was given, Okay, and then divide that by the momentum of the artillery shell. Okay, so the momentum of the ship divided by the momentum of the artillery shell will simply be uh, 1.6, 1.60 times 10 to the 9, divided by then 1.32 times 10 to the 6. And when we do that math, 1.6 times 10 to the 9 divided by that answer, we get a value of about, so this works out to be about 1,210 to 1, meaning that the momentum of the ship is 1,210 times greater than the momentum of the artillery shell. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to hit that subscribe button. Definitely helps us out tremendously, and I look forward to helping you with the next question. Take care.